welcome friends in another episode of trigonometric ratios so our question for today is uh, in a triangle ABC right angle at B if tan A equals to 1 upon root 3 find the value of sine A multiply cos A plus cos A multiply sine C and the second is cos A multiply cos C minus sine A multiply sine C okay so uh, first thing we have to know before solving this question is what are the basic fundamentals means basic basic things that we have to find out for here is sine a c here and in the same a there is cos a also and cos c cos c and sine c sine c so we have to find out sine a cos a and uh, sine c cos c right and before that here is given that tan a equals to 1 upon root 3 so first we have to find out this sine a cos c and uh, sine c cos a then we can proceed our question so let's first make a right angle triangle okay so this is my right angle triangle suppose uh, as the question has given this is tan a right and right angle at b so i have to focus at first here right angle at b so i have to make a right angle at b yeah and uh, tan a equals to 1 upon 3 so let me write this tan a equals to I know that that's perpendicular right perpendicular P upon base that's B and is equals to 1 root 3 right so perpendicular suppose uh, this is uh, yeah this is angle a and this is angle c suppose since uh, it is given here so i can choose any one first the main thing is i have to make this base right sorry this uh, right angle so suppose this is a and c you can choose any one either this is a or c so it depends on you so tan a uh, i know the side in which the angle seats is always a base so here uh, this angle is seated in this so for this question this is base right for this time only so base and the opposite side of the angle is always perpendicular right so perpendicular is this so it means perpendicular upon base so this is one right this is one part right this is one and this part will be root 3 right and I have to find out now this this is the longest part and I know this is hypotenuse right and from the Pythagoras theorem from the Pythagoras we know that h square equals to p square plus b square so here the longest part right the longest part is hypotenuse this is h and we have to find out that uh, that's h square equals to p square so p square is 1 square and b square that's root 3 square right so it's a 1 square it means a 1 itself right and root 3 square it means 3 right so it's 4 now h square equals to 4 that is 2 square therefore h equals to 2 right so we got the value of h2 now we can easily find out the values right uh, so let me find out one by one that first it we need it first thing we need is sine a so sine a I know the value of sine a that's right p upon h perpendicular to the hypotenuse so what's the perpendicular that's one and what's the hypotenuse yeah that's two and also another thing I need is uh, cos a right so cos a equals to uh, it will be b upon h that's base to the hypotenuse what's the base yeah base is root 3 and the hypotenuse is the 2 right and again we finish this part right and our second part is that we must have to find out the value of sine c and cos a and since we are taking now sine c so this will be the angle right suppose this is angle theta or whatever it's just uh, we don't have to suppose suppose this is theta right uh, sub, uh, I mean sine C so now we have to find out again sine C sine C 
and again for sine c you know sine c the perpendicular will be this c c angle if this is then the opposite side will be this will be the perpendicular for sine c right for perpendicular it will be perpendicular uh, i mean for this angle this will be the perpendicular and the base will be this one this will be the base for what for sine c so let's go sine c equals to again perpendicular that will be ab upon hypotenuse that will be ac right that's p upon h again it will never change that will be always p upon h so ab is root 3 and sine c uh, and ac is that's ac is 2 right we got the value of sine c now uh, let's find out cos c cos c is again the same base upon hypotenuse so here the base is bc and hypotenuse is ab so bc that's base upon hypotenuse that's ac ac that's hypotenuse so bc is 1 and hypotenuse is always 2 so we got all the basic things that uh, that we need to solve this question right so uh, now let me write the question our question is uh, let me change color yeah sine a cos c so first question is sine a cos c multiply sorry it's plus cos a multiply sine c so let me solve this so what's the value of sine a we got the value of sine a that's 1 by 2 right that's 1 by 2 and cos c what's the value of cos c that we got over here right see it's 1 by 2 again so it's 1 by 2 again plus cos a what's the value of cos a it's root 3 upon 2 root 3 upon 2 multiply sine c and the value of sine c is again root 3 upon 2 so 1 1 is a 1 2 2 is a 4 plus root 3 into root 3 it will be 3 right and 2 2 is a 4 so 1 plus 3 here the LCM will be same 4 plus 4 and this 1 plus 3 that will be 4 upon 4 so 4 1 is a 1 4 1 is a 1 the answer will be 1 answer right like this we'll be solving and our question another question is cos a cos c minus sine a sine c right so let's solve this uh, with the different color okay so I think uh, we solve this here right so let me write again question the question is right cos a cos c sorry cos a cos c minus sine a sine c right so cos a cos c minus sine a sine c right so again what's the value of cos a yeah let's see over here cos a is root 3 upon 2 and cos c cos c is 1 upon 2 right and another sin a sin c so what's the value of sin a it's 1 by 2 again right and sin c sin c is root 3 upon 2 once again right so let's proceed this so root 3 multiply 1 sure it will be root 3 and 2 upon 2 that will be yeah of course 4 minus 1 upon 2 multiply root 3 so 1 multiply 3 uh, root 3 that will be root 3 and 2 multiplied 2 that will be 4 so c plus minus minus that means root uh, means root 3 upon 4 minus root 3 upon 4 it will be nothing more than 0 we can cut this all right so like this we have to solve this question uh, everything uh, that we need is first we have to see in which angle it is uh, forming the right angle so first step our first step was the finding right angle at which so I find out that as it is in B uh, as a right angles angle right angle angle so I just make a right angle with the uh, right angle at B and then we need to find out what is the given the given ratio right and the given ratio I write down and just put the value in the figure and then I show what are the angles that I need to find out I uh, just I revise that I saw here that I need to find out sine a uh, cos c cos a sine c right so these four angles were there that I have to find out so 
uh, I applying the Pythagoras theorem I got the third side that we were not given in the triangle and I find the ratio and just I put the value in uh, this questions I got the value right like this you have to solve it's not that much uh, difficulty you should try there are lots of practice series in our website I mean uh, skyingblogger.com and that blog so it will be more beneficial for you thank you for listening keep it watching on okay thank you bye